one of your quick writes earlier this month was that the saying goes, March comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. And it has to do with a kind of weather. The lion is the really fierce, cold, snowy, awful weather um, that we had at the beginning of March. And the lamb is that nice, gentle, warming, sunny weather that we're having right now. So if you are paying attention to the weather, you will definitely see that that saying is correct, that March comes in like a lion with really cold, fierce weather, and it goes out like a lamb with nice, warm, gentle weather. So we are still in the month of March. We are fast approaching the end of the month, but let's go ahead and add our date for today. It is the 25th, the 25th, so it's March 25th, 2021. <clears throat> and remember that all of the days that start with that two, that are two digit numbers, that have two numbers, and it starts with a two, they're in the 20s, like 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Following 25, straight up the calendar, you will see that today is Thursday. So let's go get Thursday and put it in the right spot on our chart. Here we are on Thursday. Jump back to yesterday. Yesterday happened in the past. Yesterday was Wednesday. So grabbing Wednesday. Now what do you know about the days of the week? We've got Wednesday, Thursday. Next comes Friday. So tomorrow will be Friday. Let's read all of these sentences together. Yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow will be Friday. Go ahead and add a cube for the days we've been in school. And we have one 100. There's our um, block that represents 100. We have three tens, all those blocks that the single blocks put together into a group of 10. And then we don't have six ones anymore. Instead, we have seven ones. So that means we've been in school for 137 days. 137 days. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our addition. Now, let's go ahead, write that first number sentence. We've got four, four yellow donuts plus three orange donuts. And then we're gonna put our equal sign because we're gonna figure out what that is all together. So let's go ahead, head on down to our number, uh, number line. We start on the four and we jump three. Start on the four, jump three. Start on the four, jump one, jump two, jump three. Where did you land? You landed on the seven, right? So four plus three equals seven. Four plus three equals seven. Now, we've talked about it this week. It doesn't matter which one of these groups you decide to put first. This time, we're going to put these three first. Then we're going to add, using our plus sign, these four. So instead of four plus three, like we have up here, we have three plus four. And then I'll grab my equal sign. So four plus three equals seven. Three plus four also equals yep, seven. doesn't matter um, when you're doing addition. This is just for addition. It doesn't matter in addition in which order those two numbers come. Because it doesn't matter if you start over here and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or you start over here and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For addition, it doesn't matter in which order you put these two numbers because they're going to equal seven. So let's fill in our number bond. So part was four, the other part was three. Oop, the other part was three, there we go. And the whole thing was seven. The whole thing was seven. All right. Checking out our subtraction jar. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven cupcakes in our subtraction jar, but we are going to take some away. Remember with subtraction, you always start with the number that you have at the beginning. All right. So in the beginning, we have seven cupcakes in our subtraction jar. We are going to take away one, two, three of those cupcakes. 
So now you put the number that you take away. So you had seven minus the three that you took away means how many do you have left? One, two, three, four, right? You have four left. So if you take a look at your number bond, seven minus three equals four. So what do you think seven minus four would be? Seven minus four would be three. <sighs> Such cool, cool patterns in math. Really quickly, we're going to take a look at our digraphs. TH says like in this or in sloth. WH says wh, like in whale. CH says ch, like in chipmunk. And SH says sh, like in shell. Now, after calendar today, I will include the song about the digraph SH because I'm also going to include today um, an SH room that you can go into and you can kind of explore all the different words that start with SH or that end with SH. Because if you look down here at the bottom, you've got a word that ends with SH. W -ish. Wish. Wish. So SH can be at the beginning or it can be at the end or sometimes it can even be in the middle. So I will include that SH song and also the SH room for you to explore today.